Namna tulivyokuahidi wiki iliyopita kwamba wiki hii tutakujuza kuhusiana na Alpha Alpha na vyakula vingine ambavyo Ben anakuza katika ulishaji wa kondoo basi ni nafasi kwako kufahamu ni yapi kuhusiana na Alpha Alpha na vivyo vyakula vingine. Ben swali langu kubwa ambalo ndaliuliza sasa hivi ni kwamba Alpha Alpha tofauti na vyakula vingine ina nguvu na ina gani katika protini? Ni ya kiasi ya 26 26% crude protein which is very high because if you are to compare it with any other thing out there be it even the pang chong at 17% uh, be it uh, sweet potatoes at 21% nyasi yenyewe boma roads at 7% kwa hivyo unaona kiwango chake cha protein from a plant based protein is very high at what level do you now mix alpha alpha and other food for alpha alpha we we actually mix it for a targeted animals at certain targeted uh, times of the year and in terms of their life cycle so for example we give it to our lambs when our lambs are at about one month all the way to six months we introduce lucerne or alpha alpha to them and also for the mothers who are nursing their lambs we also give them uh, introduce uh, lucerne as, as part of their formulated feeds so that they can be able to increase on the milk production. Tumemwona uh, kondo moja akizaa. Tell me more if are you going to feed for how long uh, using this dosan? Now for that particular lamb that has been born once she gets to one month of age we introduce her to lusan as part of other meal, uh, part of other diets in her uh, formulated feeds so she will be getting a bit of energy from the maize that is ground and lusan will form the protein element for her growth and will continue feeding her on that diet till she gets to month six and after that we'll put her on another diet that is similar to sheep of her age so the times you have high protein in your feet is when an animal is growing when a lamb is growing it helps in the, not only the stimulation but also the growth of the uh, of the muscles in that animal as it grows the other thing is that when a mother is nursing when an ewe is nursing a lamb or lambs for that matter then you give her the lusan Another point to give Lusan is when we are doing what we call flushing, which is preparing our ewes and our rams for breeding. Then we provide them with high protein so that we can also increase the estrus cycle for the mothers so that they can be able to ovulate faster. Na pia wanaweza kushika mimba haraka. Na pia tumeweza kuona by just introducing Lusan into that mix of the ratio. We have noticed that pia mambo ya kuzaliwa doubles ambayo tunaita mapacha na triplet inaongezeka so it has formed a very integral part of our feed strategy here at Amagodo for long will that condor uh, be pregnant and is it necessary to feed and which type of special feed are you giving a condor's gestation period is usually mizitano 5 months that's the gestation period for the condor but you will notice the most important part is actually pre conception so the flushing the one month before umpatie dume or introduce the ram that's the time now you start improving on your feed and on month 2 of that period when sasa you've already introduced the ram yeah at that point you can stop on that high protein high energy diet and just go back to your normal ratios then at the tail end at the uh, what we call the 6 to the 6 week to prayer to uh, conception then you can introduce again high energy and high protein diet because at that point the mother remember the growing fetus in a mea kweli kwa haraka na sasa anahitaji chakula mingi kuliko kiasi because if you remember you know uh, i had mentioned that four part it a sheep it 4% of its Uh, body weight at this point in time i would say you should get to about 5 to 6% of its body weight because anabeba uzaz ndani yake planting alpha alpha how long will it take for it to mature it takes between 30 and 45 days from the date of planting and the beauty about it is this you know it has matured when you start seeing the yellow flowers on them this one we harvested it 45 days ago now it is ready to be 
harvested again. The other beautiful thing about Lusan is that it ratoons, it grows back. So what you do, you don't uproot. Ile unafanya unakatia hapa chini tu. Unawashika hivi unakata hapa chini. Unavuna, unakausha siku kama tatu, unaenda kupatia wanyama wako, mifugo yako. Alafu unaendelea kumwagilia maji. Another 45 days umekata tena. Tell me about other feeds that you plant here. Uh, maize, mainly for silage. The other plant we plant here is what we call Super Napier Punctong 1. That we also plant here and we use it both for ready to feed and also for silage. Then we are also growing brachiara grass at the very end, which we use it as our fiber or what we refer to as roughage for the grass. Where do you find your, your water? Our source of water here is a borehole, yes, which we actually run on solar because being in Machakos, we are solar rich. So it's important that we harvest as much as we can of God-given sunlight to be able not only to reduce our costs, but at the same time to be able to maximize on our production by the use of solar to light, but also to pump our water. Farming, one, is a very rewarding enterprise. But the most important thing is, like many other things in life, you need to prepare well. You need to take your time to repair well. Prepare. Given that you may not have either the time, the land, to grow uh, the alfalfa, the lusan, what I would say is take time to source. Then you need to improve on your sourcing. Source for other protein uh, elements like soya, like sunflower, like cotton seed cake, canola, all these are sources of protein. What it may require for you is put more time in sourcing for these items when their prices are low or in the regions where they grow them and you're able to get them, buy them in plenty because a sheep requires a balanced diet. I would not ignore the protein element out of my diet at all. Tell me about the market. I must say the market is right. Looking at what the price point is per kg right now from the off takers. These are the likes of uh, the ones that buy when I talk about an off taker is one who buys in hundreds. Yeah. Right now they are buying a carcass at 550 shillings per kg. That's a good price. What I would encourage my fellow farmers and especially the youth is given that they have not only the youth, the youthfulness as an advantage for them. Secondly, now we are talking about the world being a global, small village. You are able to get as much information as what we're discussing about the feeds at your fingertips. So for them, they have the energy, they have the youthfulness, and they have technology at their beck and call. This is a time to get into this kind of farming. You will find that you not only have markets here, also regionally and internationally. Right now, you find for the international markets, the smallest order they want is three tons per week. Now, three tons per week translates to about 220 sheep yeah, per week. That also informs you that we as farmers need to embrace scale. We need to move our minds from farming from a subsistence level to farming from a production level. Our kondo wawekin di ukulange nyama kila Saturday. Yeah. You are giving them to feed not only the nation, but nations. And I must say, we are in the right country when it comes from a climate point of view. We are positioned centrally when it comes from an international hub. So I would encourage more youths to jump into it, more farmers to come into it, and let's make our country food secure. That's most important. Thank you. Sante sana. Anavo sema ni rasmi kwamba tufanye taifa letu liwe taifa la bakula. 
na anakupatia uhusia kubwa kwamba kama kijana jitume kwa sababu mbinu kubwa ya kufaulu katika maisha ni ukulima lishe bora katika kuwafaidi wale kondoo ni kuhakikisha kwamba wanapata vyakula vyao vinavyotosha na bila shaka katika Kenya's Gold tunasema papa hapa utajifunza mengi Emmanuel Teller Kenya's Gold